The Sandex coding system is used to encode the last name on driver's licenses in Michigan, and there's some other states that use this system as well. One thing I should probably tell you is that starting in 2010, if you have already been issued a driver's license number, you wouldn't be issued a new one, let's say if you got married or if your last name changed. So if you are checking your driver's license to see if that it matches, keep in mind that after 2010, you would not get a new driver's license. So what we're going to do is go through uh, three examples of how to encode just the last name using the Soundex coding system. So in this first example, let's do the last name of Hasselhoff. So the first thing we're going to do, according to step one, is cross out any H's or W's. So the two H's in Hasselhoff are going to get crossed out, leaving us with Hasselhoff. Okay, so that's the only part of the name that's going to get encoded. So we're going to convert any remaining letters using the following key. So all the vowels are going to be zeros. S is going to be a two followed by another two. Again, the vowels are zero. And L is a four. And F would be one. Okay, the next step is to cross out any repeating adjacent digits except the first one. So when we say adjacent digits, that means they're right next to each other. It's not that they're repeating at some point in time. It's that they're literally right next to each other. So the two followed by the two, we're going to cross out the second two. The one followed by the one, so that we only have one of each. Okay, so now we have 020401. Okay, the next step is to cross out the first digit, unless you already did, which we did, by that H. So we're not going to cross out the next one. Step five is to cross out all the zeros. So then take the first three remaining digits, and we have exactly three of them. So we're going to use the two, the four, and the one. So on a driver's license in Michigan, if your last name was Hasselhoff, you would have H for Hasselhoff, and then two, four, one. Okay, let's look at another last name. Let's try Thompson. And we'll do the same thing. Start by crossing out any H's or W's. So the last name that's going to get encoded is Thompson without the H. So then according to our key, the T is going to be a 3. All the vowels are zeros. The M is a 5. P is a 1. S is a 2. O is a 0, and N is a 5. Okay, the next step is to cross out any repeating adjacent digits. So there's no repeating digits right next to each other. So the next thing we'll do is cross out the first digit, unless it was H or W. So that it was a T, so we're going to cross that one out, because it's not H or W. Okay, so we're left with 0, 5, 1, 2, 0, 5. So then we'll cross out any zeros, and then take the first three. So on this driver's license, we would have a T for Thompson, and then 5, 1, 2. Let's look at one more. Let's try Jackson. So the first thing is to cross out any H's or W's. We don't have any. So then we'll just go and convert. So the J is a 2. A is a 0. The C and the K are both 2's. So is the S. And then the N is a 5. So the next step is to cross out any repeating adjacent digits except for the first one. So these three twos right next to each other, we're going to cross out uh, all of them except the first one. So we're left with 20205. Okay, so then we cross out the first digit, unless it was an H or a W. It was a J, so we're going to cross it out. And then cross out any zeros. So notice that we're only left with two digits this time. So the last thing that we do if that happens, if you have fewer than three digits, you're going to append zeros. So I need one more digit, so it's going to be J250.